what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Charles, we sick boss. Barkley said, the last 24 hours of hate received by Drew Brees has been straight up overkill and is now calling for people to back off the NFL star. Why are people hating on Drew Brees? Backstory, Drew Brees recently did an interview where he said he will never respect anyone who doesn't respect the flag of the United States. He said, his two grandpappies fought in America's wars up to World War II. And when he looks at that flag, when he thinks of that flag, he sometimes cries because he's so emotional about everything that it stands for and what they went through. Well, a number of people, including myself, cited their own experiences, uh, their own uh, personal experiences with family members who have uh, fought in America's wars, even beyond World War II, uh, black people who have sacrificed their lives for the flag, black people who sacrificed their lives and if they survived, they came back to America and was treated like third-class citizens. Some were even killed, disrespectful disrespected called boys. These are the same people who fought for the liberties that so many white people enjoy uh, in the form of white privilege. These were people who still thought that even though they didn't fight, they didn't bust a grape, but they totally disrespected the black servicemen and women when they came home after World War II. Now, Drew Brees is trying to play the victim now. You know how they do. They create chaos, typically. They'll create chaos, uh, get brought to a heel, and then play the victim. And sometimes they cry. And I suspect that either Drew Brees is gonna cry or his wife will cry. It'll be very emotional. They're very good at that type of stuff. They will often, and this is, this is a, listen fam, it's the same playbook over and over and over again. They will often be championed by black people. And I'm talking about these racists, right? They'll be championed by black people. They'll go find some cotton picking Mammy or Sambo Pappy to cape for them. And they didn't have to look far because you know exactly where to go. Go to Charles Barkley, automatic. Go to Candace Owens, automatic. Jason Whitlock, automatic. They're gonna cape. This is what they do. This is what they get paid to do. I wonder what kind of family members they have because I cannot, I cannot conceive family members actually appreciating them. Like maybe to get their money or whatever, but as, as far as like respecting them, I can't see it. I, I can just see family members watching one of them walk up, you know, to the, buffet table at a family reunion or something. And they go, look at this old fucking buttermilk biscuit eating ass nigga. I can't stand this moment. Hey, what's up, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's sad, man. It's sad. How do this dude sleep? I wonder, you know what it is? Damn, I just figured it out. The Sambos are similar to the oppressive. They have no conscience. 
they're actually devils. They're wicked. They have more, no moral compass. The stuff that they do to people, the things that they say, they're immune to others' suffering. They have no empathy. Now, they can talk to talk, make it seem like they have this empathy. You know, uh, Exhibit A, uh, Steve Harvey. That's another one. He likes to try to straddle the fence. Well, in this situation, fam, ain't no straddling the fence. This is the moment. This is the time to seize the moment. We have a small window to change the trajectory of race relations in this country and also change uh, police policies. We have a, we have a great opportunity right now to move the culture forward and level the playing field somewhat. We cannot afford traitors. We cannot afford to try to have these type of people to represent us, to, to talk for us, speak for us. Uh, Charles Barkley, uh, he don't speak for the black community. So when y'all out, some of y'all out there, y'all like, like him. First of all, you like him because he's a clown. He makes you laugh. He entertains you. But this is too serious to, to allow a uh, dude to get a pass just because he knows how to uh, jump up and down on cue because he's a clown. We can't afford to drop the ball here because we drop the ball right here at this moment then you're talking about at least another few generations of suffering, of police just gunning down black people with impunity, getting off. And trust me, if it ain't your son, your daughter, your, your niece, your nephew, your grandchild, it'll be their children. It's totally embarrassing to me to have to tell my son that I'm out in, well, I'm going to Sacramento for a protest for uh, justice. I'm, I'm going to protest injustice in Sacramento. It's embarrassing. This is a fight that my ancestors should have nipped in the bud. This is a fight that my parents should have nipped in the bud. So this is why I go so hard in the paint. I don't want my son to be here 20 years from now going through this shit. My daughter, 20 years now from now, still going through this stuff, you know? So all enemies, all traitors, they must get it. Like all enemies must get it, but traitors, they get it double. We ain't backing off. They don't back off us. When they put their foot on our necks, they leave it there until they suck the air out of our bodies. Like Charles, there are many men who are fascinated with wearing women clothing, cross dresses, if you will. But unlike Charles, they don't care if people knows they like wearing dresses, high heels, stockings, purses, earrings, mascara, bras, panties. I heard Charles prefers the panties with the hole in the booty part. And they say that he also wears long t-shirts, extra long t-shirts with nothing underneath the bed. Anyway. You know what? From here out, I'm going to start calling this dude Charlotte. So, Charlotte, no, we are not going to back off. You can cape all you want, sucker, but it is what it is. As far as I'm concerned, you and Drew Brees can go straight to hell in a handbasket. No more talk. What the talking about?